Hi, I'm Sandra Hawkins and in this demo I want to show you how to read from a file. So the previous one, the previous demonstration, I showed you how to write to a file using the file writer object that's instantiated with the file name passed in there from main. Um, the write method is used which doesn't add a new line onto the end so if you want that you need backslash n there for a new line to appear in the file. When you've finished writing you need to flush out the buffer stream to make sure everything is written to file and finally close the resource. Now in this example read from file so the object that I'm going to use for this one is file reader so it's in the IO package so make sure and use control space so you get that autocomplete and you get the import at the top so file reader f or equals new file reader now there are constructors here one that takes a file I'm not using that or the file descriptor but I am going to pass a string in for the file name so the string in for the file name there, that's going to be passed in from main. So semicolon here. Now, it does throw an exception there, but just before I forget, I'm going to make sure that I call this method from main. So before I had write to file, so this time that file has been created. So this time I'm going to call the read, read from file method and pass in the file name. So just to make sure that after I've written this method that, that it actually gets called. Now, hover over this, unhandled exception, type file not found. So there's a possibility that that file will not be found, and if it can't be found, it will throw an exception. So if you call code that might throw an exception, you need to surround that code, or you need to deal with the exception, and one way is to surround that code with a try catch statement. Now, and another set of curly brackets. So that was a file not found accepts, exception. So catch file not found exception this is like a method signature so i need a variable name there e and i'm going to do a print out in here so error file not found and that will do for there now if you want there in the catch as well you can do an e dot print stack trace which if there is a problem finding the file it'll just give out more information there in the stack trace when it's printed out and read now after i've created a file reader the file reader object so fr dot it has a read method but it only returns a character at a time so what i'm going to do is what's called wrapping this object into another one so that I can use um, a better method, a method that will read an entire line. So what I'm going to use here is a buffered reader, also in the I.O. package, so I'll get that import at the top. Buffered reader, BR, and instantiate that equals new buffered reader. Now, so I can't, there isn't an option in the buffered reader constructor to send in the file name so it needs another reader so that's why I created a file reader first which takes in the file name and now I pass that file reader object into the constructor of the buffered reader now again the reason I did that the buffered reader has a method for reading a whole line from the file the file reader only has a method for reading a character at a time so I'd like to be able to read the whole line from the file as I'm reading the buffered reader doesn't have a constructor that takes in the file name it expects another reader object and another reader object is a file reader which i've created on the previous line and that one does take the file name so now to read from the file the buffered reader has a read line method which returns a string so what i'm going to do first of all is declare a string i'm just going to call it line and just uh, assign it a default value there now, as I read each line from the file, when it gets to the bottom, the read line method is going to return null. But I want to keep reading, so this is what not to do. So uh, br.readLine, that would read a line, and I could put that around a print line, for example. Um, that throws an exception, so I'm just going to get rid of that there now in a second. B, br.readLine, assigned to a string, printed out, maybe another one of these. The problem here is, what if I don't know how many lines are in the file? So what I need to do is I need to read a line, assign it to a variable, and check that it's not null, because it will be null when it reaches the bottom of the file. 
So what I'm going to use for that is a while loop, and this it's a, looks a little bit complicated. To the line variable, I'm going to assign the value that's returned from br.readLine. There's a possibility that that might be null, or will be when it reaches the bottom of the file, and I want to keep reading while br.readLine does not return null. So is not equals to null. Now, in order of precedence here, um, the assignment there, I want that to happen first. So the assignment would happen last. So what I need to do is put extra brackets around that. So read the line from the file first. Assign it to the variable line. When it's not null, then I'm going to print it out. Now, I'm going to, I have an exception here I need to deal with, but I'm just going to do my print out here. So just print out line that will print out the text from the, the file. Now, if I hover over here, I get the name of the exception. On handle exception of type IO. I have a try catch around this code already, so I don't need to put another try catch there. But what I can do here is add an additional catch clause onto the bottom. So this time I'm catching an IO exception. Again, give it a name E. That E doesn't clash with the E above because it's in different different block, different scope. And again, I'm going to print out and error. So at this stage, that exception was thrown off the read line. So this time it will be error reading from file. So I was able to create the file if it got that far. And again, I want to see what is the problem. So e.printStackTrace will print out, give us more information about the problem there. Now, I think that is it. I'm going to just tidy up the code a little bit and run that and see. There we go. There are only two lines of code or two lines in that file and they've both been printed out there. So that is how to read from a file. So I'm creating a file reader. The reason I did that was because I can pass in the file name. That's been passed into a buffered reader object. And the reason I've two is that the buffered reader allows you to use that method read line whereas that read line method is not in the file reader class. It only has a read method that reads in a character. Read line will return a string. I've assigned that to a variable so that I can basically say while or when the string that's returned from the line is not null. So that means when it's not at the end, it'll print out that line, that line from the file. So creating the file reader might return or might not be able to connect to the file. So I catch file not found. And read line might not or might not be able to read. That's why there's an IO exception there. Now, two things I've forgotten. What I need to do is close the file reader and close the buffer reader as well. I just need one uh, close. So I just need br.close. That will close the file reader as well because it knows about the file reader that was passed in there into the constructor. So br.close will close the buffered reader and the file reader as well. And that is how to read from a file.